December 21st. When I was younger, I often wondered if heaven was a real place. After reading the last book of the Bible, Revelation, I realized that it is, in fact, very real. One of Jesus' disciples, named John, got to see a picture of what heaven looks like. John describes a beautiful city, bigger than any city we could ever imagine. God used all kinds of amazing things to create heaven. There are big, tall gates made of giant pearls and decorated with all kinds of jewels. And the streets in heaven are paved with the shiniest gold that never gets dirty. Running right down the middle of heaven is a crystal clear river. It is so clear that it almost looks like glass. You could probably see straight down to the bottom. On either side of the river, there are lots of trees. The trees have so much yummy fruit on them that you could eat and eat and eat, and they would never run out. It's like if you went to an all-you-can-eat buffet of fruity goodness. In heaven, it's always light. That's right. There is no darkness. The sun and moon aren't needed there because God himself fills heaven with brilliant light. Once we get to heaven, you won't ever need another flashlight, light bulb, or even a nightlight in your room. Some of the wonderful things about heaven is there's no more death, crying, sickness, or pain. When you get to heaven, you will never have another runny nose or cold again. Can you imagine never visiting the doctor's office or needing a Band-Aid? No one is ever sad or mad in heaven because God is there and he wants everyone to be there with him. But there is only one way that we can go to heaven. We must believe in our heart that Jesus died for our sins and that God brought him back to life. Heaven sounds like such a wonderful place. And my hope and prayer is that everyone that I know would trust Jesus as their Savior so that we can all be together in heaven one day. Because heaven is a real place for people who believe in Jesus. Guess what? God loves you and wants to be your friend. John 3.16 says, God loved the people of this world so much that he gave his only son so that everyone who has faith in him will have eternal life and never really die. You can't be friends with God because of your sin. Ecclesiastes 7.20 says, Not a single person on earth is always good and never sins. What is sin? 
Sin is doing or thinking something that God says is wrong. God made a way for you to be his friend. He sent Jesus from heaven to earth to take the punishment for all of your sin. Just knowing about Jesus is not enough to fix your friendship with God. You need to admit you have done wrong things and you are truly sorry. Believe in your heart that Jesus died for you and that God brought him back to life. And commit to following Jesus as the leader and Lord of your life forever.